She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. We're really, really blessed that you've decided to join us today. And I hope that so far, your day has started off exactly the way that you want it to. And if it hasn't, well then by golly, make sure that you finish it the way you want it to be done. I'm excited to bring to you today a friend, uh, a client, a woman, a mother, a chiropractor, a woman who we had the chance to meet about two and a half years ago, who, wow, she's gonna blow your mind. She really is. You are gonna be so very blessed to hear what has happened to her life in two and a half years. Are you in that place where you need a nice shot in the arm of let's say some more inspiration, some faith, you know, maybe some strong belief, and maybe you're in that place where you're just kind of like feeling like, oh man, I feel like I'm doing everything wrong, nothing ever works out, why is everything so hard, and you just wanna give up, it's exactly where Erin found herself two and a half years ago. And so in, in such a short period of time, she's completely turned her entire life around. And so we're going to get deep into her story today. And I believe that her story is going to inspire you, ignite you to take steps moving forward, empower you to do what you know that you need to do with your life. Because right here on the Danny Johnson Show, you know we're about defining success. Success is different for everybody. And there's a destiny calling out to you, friend. I tell you that every day. A destiny is calling out for you. You were knitted together in your mother's room for a purpose. And it wasn't just to suck oxygen from the planet. It was to do something with your life. And so I know that for me, as I've watched hundreds of thousands of others, Follow the status quo formula of success. You know, the, the, the movies and entertainment world and, and the media has sold us this picture of what success looks like. And unfortunately, when we reach that place, it ain't success at all. And that's exactly what Erin Hudson found out for herself, her and her husband both. They found, my gosh, is this really what it's all about? Is this really worth it? So anyway, you're going to be so excited. You're going to find your path today more and more each day that you join us here on the Danny Johnson show every single day of the week, you're going to find that, hey, hey, yeah, I want success to look like this for me. And you're going to find as you get to know yourself, as you learn new skills here on the show, new concepts, it's going to reveal itself to you and you're going to be the person you were designed to be. So joining me today is Erin Hudson. She is from uh, California, in fact, Huntington Beach, California, mother with four children and a chiropractor. Erin, welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. Well, thank you so much for having me, Danny. It's a pleasure to be here. It's so good to hear your voice. Absolutely awesome to hear your voice. Now, Erin, just real quickly, if you can kind of give a summary of your story, and then I'm going to kind of pick it apart, and we're going to get into some things that of what really, really helped you. So if you can, just go ahead and give a quick summary of what your story is, starting two and a half years ago. Perfect. I'd be glad to. So when first my name Danny Johnson, um, in 2010, we had filed for bankruptcy. And if you fast forward two years later, we were back in that same spot, um, drowning in loads of debt. We had a $150,000 school loan, a $100,000 business loan, and believe it or not, we had a $600,000 mortgage that we were considering trading in for a million-dollar mortgage. My uh, marriage was in a complete downward spiral. My children were out of control. And rightfully so, I was putting in 60 plus hours a week. Many nights I wasn't home to have dinner with my children, nor check them in at night. I was, in all honesty, just a greedy, greedy pig. No money that I ever made friends was ever enough. I was so addicted to work that I rarely even vacationed. My life was looking so bleak. My marriage was just a disaster. So that's where I was when I found Danny back in 2012. Wow. Now, Erin, fast forward. What have you accomplished, you and your family accomplished, in the last two and a half years? Well, after plugging in um, with DannyJohnson.com, our family relationship, in all honesty, have been restored. Um, my children are loving and much more honoring. And I'm now home to sit around the dinner table with my children and tuck them in the bed at night, which is a blessing. Um, 
We now travel the world teaching our children how to love on the orphans and the needy and the widow. And I even cut my work hours from 60 hours a week down to 28 hours a week, making more money. Um, we provide jobs now for 28 employees. Um, last year, our business created um, a charitable arm in 2014, and our business for the first time hit a million dollars. And um, to top it all off, in two and a half years, we've paid off 892000 And thanks to your teachings, um, our family is now 100% business and personal debt free. <laughs> That is like such an amazing story. I'm serious. Okay. Now, I mean, I think some people who are listening to this right now are probably going, that just seems so unbelievable. But see, I had the chance to watch Aaron husband, uh, Aaron and her husband uh, walk through this whole thing for the last two and a half years. They have been faithfully coming to First Steps to Success and creating a dynasty and bringing their children with them. This was a family that did not do vacations with each other. And since they started tapping in, they start they actually took their kids down to Belize to be with our orphans in Belize at the King's Children's Home down there. The brand new orphanage that we just finished building, a 1.2 million dollar project that we worked on. Erin and her family was a part of that project, as well as bringing Christmas to these kids. And so Erin, let, let's get deep into this story with um, with where you were two and a half years ago. So you said your marriage was a disaster. Uh, you and your husband were fighting. You were like drifting away from each other emotionally, uh, not connecting with each other. Was that largely because of the 892, can we just call it $900,000 worth of debt that you guys were carrying? Or what was the main reasons for all of the, the fighting and the turmoil that was in the house? I think in all reality, a lot of it had to do that I was married to my work mm -hmm. and not my husband. Um, the debt definitely was a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. um, I can't believe that I could even make it through with all that pressure because now being debt free and how it feels now, I can't even imagine having to go back to that. Yes. Um, yes. With the, I Honestly, with my work, I ate my work. I drank my work. I slept with my work. It was on my mind all the time. Yeah. And I would be sitting in a corner watching a movie with my kids and I couldn't even physically watch the movie because there was something in my hand that pertains to work. Wow. Disgusting. Yeah. How could I ever expect for my children to want to follow in the footsteps that I was living in? Yep. Yep. Or expect your children to listen oh, to you. You know what I mean? How would you expect? And a lot of parents do this. Uh, I was in the same way. I, you know my story, and that's why you and I connected so well, was that I, I lived the same way. And you, when you live, eat, breathe, and dream about business and about your work, then that work has become your God. And so really, your husband oh. felt like he was being cheated on. He, he, his wife was committing right. adultery right in front of him. Like, <laughs> this is, this is the other man. And is, and, and the name is whatever the chiropractic name of the office is. And that's very, uh, you feel inferior and it's infuriating. You know what I mean? And frustrating when you feel like your spouse is married to something else or right in front of you cheating on right. you, cheating on you. I mean, you had a serious emotional affair with work. You had a physical affair with work. And and so now, wow, how does it feel? Uh, and wait, let's go back to how it felt to be married to work. Oh my gosh. You know what, at the time, I was honestly such a greedy pig that I, no matter how much money I made, it was never, never enough. Never enough. And even with my kids, it was like they had over the top, we inundated. Even for Christmas, it was every Christmas we had to trump the Christmas before. Wow. Um, it just, in all honesty, it was whatever anyone wanted, whatever they could have, wow. pretty much. And I think that's what's been so transformational with our family because I will tell you the first year that we went to Belize and we told our children, look, we're not going to do Christmas this year. Instead, we're going to take it to the orphan. And I can't tell you the kicks against the walls and the cries that came out of those kids' mouths. Yeah. And after being able to go and take these children, taking a hundred pairs of shoes, 
and 100 pairs of pajamas that our children had picked out for these orphans <laughs> to give it to them, to have those kids wake up on Christmas morning and open up a pair of pajamas and a pair of tennis shoes and to have the biggest smiles on their faces was heart-changing for all of my children to the point the following year when we went back to Belize and we told them that we were going to go there, we didn't even mention that we weren't going to do Christmas and nothing was said about it. So kids are so, you can change their hearts like that compared to us adults. It takes a little bit longer, but these kids, my children, all four of them have a heart for the orphan and they just want to love and give to the orphan because they know how happy it makes them. Wow. Just a little something. Wow. And what an awesome thing that you're doing for your kids. You know what I mean? That you are pulling them out of the, the, the drug of materialism. You're pulling them out of the addiction of consumerism. And you know what's so crazy is that we parents teach our kids. We actually hand the needle to the drug of materialism to our kids. And we sit side by side with them with the tourniquet, you know, the rubber, giant rubber band wrapped around their arm, tying it off so that they can get the vein better with the needle you just put in their hand. That is consumerism, the needle of materialism. And we're teaching our kids how to get addicted to stuff. And yet look at how simple it is to turn and transform your family into a family that says we are we are no we're doing the 12 step program to the drug of materialism and consumerism. We are cutting ourselves off and we are now going to become givers. We're now going to take care of the poor. Now look at that Aaron, could you imagine where your kids will be when they are your age? after they have had this instilled into them to be givers into society instead of takers of society. Right. Yes. Look at what you're doing for them. I mean, you truly are a remarkable woman. Truly. The Proverbs 31 woman. You are. You're a businesswoman, a chiropractor. You're educated. You know, not that, you know, in order to be a Proverbs 31 woman, you have to be educated and all that. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that you are accomplished. And I got to ask you this because I know this is a question uh, that people have. And, and, And it is this. How in the world did you go from 60 plus hours a week down to 28. When we continue right after the short break, we got to get deep into that. What did you do to be able to do that? This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. And now back to the Danny Johnson Show. So there you are. You're working 60 plus hours a week. You're married to your job. You're sitting down with your children and you're watching a movie, but you're really not watching the movie because you've got work in your hands and work on your brain. You're supposed to be intimate tonight with your spouse, but you know how that's going to go. You're actually making love to the job when you're supposed to be making love to your spouse. 
Oh, you might be saying right now, Danny, that's totally impossible. Those things don't happen. Oh, yes, it does. And you might be the one that it's happening to right now. Just like Erin Hudson found herself two and a half years ago, that's where her life was. A disastrous marriage, $892,000 worth of debt, not vacationing, never home at night with her children to have dinner, nor spending time with them, as well as not even tucking them into bed at night. How do you call yourself a mom when you're living like that? You don't literally committing adultery in front of her husband with her job. Now, I know that you're thinking, Danny, that's just a little too far-fetched. It's not. It's exactly how her husband felt. It's exactly how I felt when my husband was working around the clock. I wanted to throw that Mac computer through the wall many times because like, I hate that broad. She's the other woman. I know there's a lot of spouses who have felt that way with overworking other partners in a marriage. So Erin took her hours from 60 plus hours a week down to 28 and just reached her million dollar mark for her business, paid off $892,000 worth of debt, has gone on vacations with her kids, giving to the poor, teaching her children to take care of the orphans as a family, and all this has happened in just two and a half short years. So joining me again here, Erin Hudson. Erin, how in the world did you do this? Okay, so 60 plus hours a week down to 28. How did it feel to be a slave to your business 60 plus hours a week? Well, I'll tell you this much. I couldn't find qualified chiropractors to help or keep up with the flow of patients at both of our offices, um, which meant I was just exhausting myself going back and forth, treating patients for four years at two offices by myself. And I recall at my first event um, with with you, Danny, and I remember you stating something to the effect of, if things aren't right in the home, your business will not flourish. So um, just over the past two and a half years, I've worked really hard on fixing me. And then um, if you fast forward two and a half years today, um, I have four doctors between my two offices, which means there's a doctor available six days a week at both offices. And now I only work three days a week at one office. And I'm now no longer running from office to office with my head cut off. I just, I truly right now, I want, I want to see my doctor succeed. Wow. And what's changed is it's no longer just about my personal gain. It's honestly about everybody being a winner. Yes, yes. And first steps to success in creating a dynasty is where Erin Hudson has been gleaning this kind of information from, learning and retraining herself, training her mind to think like somebody who truly is successful, holistically successful. You don't have to give up your whole life in order to have success. Now, Erin, how does it feel to be on this side of the fence, right? So so it's shocking. And I know that when you learned time secrets, at creating a dynasty that had to be like a big uh uh-huh and you go is that really going to work for me Danny I have two offices how in the world am I going to do this did you think that when you started to implement the time secrets portion that happens at creating a dynasty I think that was a big portion of it and I think what kept popping in my head is duplication 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 you need to relinquish let go um, have help Yes. Because you can't, it doesn't have to be just so perfect with me in control. I can teach others how to do exactly what it is that I'm doing. Yeah. So that was really helpful for me. But I think what was is really, really big and super, super important is really just investing in your team, your people. Um, for us, most of our staff has come to first step. And um, yes, it will help in every area of our business. Yep. But when your team truly knows that you care about them yep. and just makes you more unique as a boss. Yep. And believe it or not, they just want to work 10 times harder yep. than you could ever have imagined. Yep. Yep. They're all our family, and we treat them like family. That's... And that's the difference because it was all about me for so many doggone years. Wow. So there you go. That's Erin Hudson out of Huntington Beach, California. She's a dannyjohnson.com success story. As we have thousands and thousands of stories just like Erin. You have the opportunity to be one of those stories by attending First Steps to Success. Come on, make your first step right now. Do what she did. In two and a half years, she's paid off nearly $900,000 worth of debt. She now has money in investments and in retirement, and her family is taking care of the poor to the tune of thousands of dollars every single year, helping those who can't help themselves. Where did she learn how to do this? 
First steps to success. She's made a solid commitment for two and a half years straight. Her marriage has been restored. Her family has been restored. She's living a completely different life, cutting back her hours and increasing her income all at the same time. So the choice is yours. Get over to dannyjohnson.com now and get yourself registered for the next first steps. Thanks so much, Erin, for joining us today. Thanks for inspiring us. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. It's time to take on a whole new mindset. This is The Danny Johnson Show. So there you are, depressed, suicidal. You dropped out of school. You feel like you completely let your family down. In fact, you not only let your family down, the ones that are living, but you let generations of family down. You violated a tradition. What do you do? That's exactly where Ruchi found himself when he first came in contact with dannyjohnson.com. Listen, here on The Danny Johnson Show, we bring you content every single day that is going to improve your life as long as you follow directions, as long as you take a hold of the information that we deliver to you every single day on our website, on this television and radio program, or at our live training events, First Step Success and Creating a Dynasty. As long as you follow through and as long as you follow the simple little recipe that helped me go from a homeless woman to a multimillionaire that now gives millions of dollars away in helping the poor, then you can learn that same exact recipe. And what's so exciting is that you just finished hearing from Aaron Aaron Hudson, a mother of four, a chiropractor who turned her entire life around. Now you're going to hear from Ruchi. Has done an incredible job. I can't wait to, for you to get inspired and empowered by the power of making decisions, following through, and not giving up. So Ruchi from Austin, Texas, welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. Thanks for having me, Danny. I'm so excited that you're here with us, I realize. So if you can, just to kind of uh, present to our audience what, uh, in just a real short synopsis of what has happened to you in the last couple of years. Uh, in the last couple of years, um, I, was, uh, I was a med school dropout, and I didn't know how to make any money um, because I only have a bachelor's degree with science. <laughs> and so... <laughs> It's pretty tough to go out into the into the world if you're not going to go to medical school or go to some type of healthcare profession to make money. So uh, I went to corporate America and um, I got fired. I didn't have the skill sets to succeed in that area, and I made a lot of mistakes. But my firing was—I mean, I deserved—I I deserved that. And so um, through plugging in the first steps and coming multiple times, um, it, it took me a while to really find a way to implement it successfully with what I was doing. But once I did. Um, everything took off for me, and I started a business with no business experience um, and made $30,000 my first year, um, working about 20 hours a week. And then the very next year, I made uh, just over 100 k uh, without increasing my hours. <laughs> and uh, it's just taken off from there, and it's just growing, expanding, and I've been fortunate enough to take that money, invest in other uh, businesses as well, and just continue to grow and get better. And you've managed to pay off some debt. How much debt have you paid off in the last couple of years? $80,000. $80,000 worth of debt. How exciting is that? <laughs> That's crazy. How does that feel? It feels, it feels great. It feels wonderful. There's, there's, there was something on my back that you're always thinking about. You're always wondering. It's like, uh, I think one time I heard at, at one of your events that, you know, you feel like the gas tank is always on empty. You go fill it up, but nope, it's still on empty, and you're always looking for that gas station. You can never think about the goal or the destination that you want to get to because you're always worried about that gas tank and you just getting <laughs> stranded on the side of the road. And that's kind of how it, that's how I felt. Wow. Now, let's go back to when you had, you know, 
failed your family, dropping out of medical school. I mean, you are of Indian descent, which is a very highly educated culture, big time into become a doctor, become a lawyer. You know, being an engineer is not enough. <laughs> you you got to have two majors. You got to have a PhD. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's the family line that you come from. How did that that time where you had to make that decision and you, right before you came to your first first steps to success here at dannyjohnson.com you were you were suicidally depressed you told me talk about that time where where you were hopeless what did that feel like what did that look like what did your day look like so i was lucky in the sense that although i came from this descent where the culture really um engraves us to want to go be an engineer a doctor etc my parents never really forced that upon me, but it was everyone around my parents. <laughs> so when we go to, to family events or we go to friend events, that part of the culture was always coming into me, and I always felt this pressure. I got to perform. I got to perform. I got to get better. I got to go into that specific field. And so it was very, very tough for me to, to actively um, to, uh, to tell them or actively tell others because I'm, I'm so... I'm, my culture is such a big part of my life yep. that I was I was afraid that I would be violating the rules of our culture, yep. right? Or that I would be um, a disgrace in some shape or form. Yep. And so that part was very, very difficult for me. Um, and when you start having those thoughts about, uh, oh, I don't really want to pursue this anymore, you get caught in this dilemma. Okay, well, do I tell them? Um, or do I just keep going on the route and try to keep everyone happy? Yeah. And when you're young and you're immature and you don't have the skill sets and you don't really know what it is that you want to do, you end up going down that route to please everyone. Yeah. At least that's what I did. <laughs> and from there, I mean, constantly, day after day after day, I, there was times when I wanted to kill myself. There's I, I, so stuff that I could not handle. Um, to be honest, the only reason I didn't kill myself was because I couldn't find a pain-free way to do it. <laughs> you know? And um, I wrote a suicide letter my senior year of high school. And... Uh, Luckily, that never that never happened, and I was able to get out of it years later. But oh my that's gosh. how it felt, and it was not a it was a very painful time. Wow. Okay, so let's go back to that. Do you remember any part of what that suicide letter said in high school, Ruchi? In high school. Yep, senior year. <sighs> wow. So much promise ahead of you. What brought you to that? To the, I mean, I want you to go back and to remember the day that you're you're writing this, if it was with, with, with a pen or it was on your computer, what were you communicating? How did you feel? I was communicating the way that I felt others perceived me. So it wasn't, so, you know, I did, um, I was a model student, you know, I, I did great in school. I felt like I had these, that, that I could be successful, but I felt that there was no way for me to make everyone happy, that there would always wow. be something that people would be upset about. They would, they would always find something. And that got to me. Hmm. And that's, that's what I was communicating in that letter. Wow. And I was like, this is how, you know, people perceive me. I can't please anyone. I'm not hmm. good. I'm just never going to be good enough for whatever it's going to take to succeed. Wow. Isn't that just crazy? And, and you know, here's what's so funny, because the best success book ever written, which is like my owner's manual for business, for finance, for uh, raising kids, for solving problems, motivating people, that book is the Bible. And it says that the fear of man will prove to be a snare. And that's what you had your senior year in high school was the fear of man. And it's the fear of man that was ensnaring you into taking your own life. We can't please everybody, ever. We, we are never going to make everybody happy. And, and you know, I'm, I'm speaking to that person right now that I believe just had a major aha moment where they just went, oh my gosh, that's me. What do you say, Ruchi, to that person, that kid, that senior in high school who was thinking about suicide for the same reason? What do you say to that person right now? There, there, there is a solution. There are, there are other people that have thought what you are thinking, and there's, it, it's just, it's not the end. I mean, it's not, I really thought it was the end. I, I, I had no desire to, to, to live the next day, and when you're in that situation, you start doing things that you normally wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. um, and um, 
that, that's what I would tell them. I'd tell them, you have, you have to go talk to somebody. You have to find someone that you can trust. Go talk to them. But that's the only way that you're going to get out of it because that's the only way that I got out of it. Yeah. Um, and I just, I, I hope and I pray that if you are that person that is feeling that way, that you will talk to someone and that you trust that there is a solution yeah. because I promise there is. Yes, it is not the end. It is not the end. In fact, we're at the beginning of something, you know, and when we can come out of the fear of man and trying to please everybody, you have an enormous family. I have three goddaughters that are of Indian descent also, and I hear about the weddings and, you know, it's the first question, you know, where are you going to college? What degree are you going to get? I mean, it's, it's, it's such a facade all over the place. And behind all of their very educated questions, there's gambling, there's pornography, there's drug addicts, there's adulterers, there's child abusers, there's child molesters, there's rapists. I mean, it's behind all of it in this big facade of education makes me look good and I'm going to make sure that everyone knows how successful I am and I'm going to prove that I'm more successful than you or that my kids are more successful than you. And it's sad that we can put forth this, this shield, if you will, trying to, you know, by asking those kind of questions and put pressure on people. And even though they maybe don't mean to, but it was done to them. And so it seems to be this repetitive thing, generation after generation that happens. And I got to tell you, one of my very close girlfriends, she was the same way. Same exact way, became a cocaine addict, which is how she dealt with all the pressure from the family and came to her first first steps 23 years ago, January, and got completely set free and delivered from the cocaine and the meth and all the other drugs that she was using. Hasn't touched a single drug since January of uh, 1991 um, and has come out of that pressure. I'm so glad that you did. When we continue back with the Danny Johnson Show, we're going to get deeper into how did he become successful? How did he start this business where he's making $100,000 or more? a year. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue after this. Danny will be back with more expert business, money, and relationship advice to help you live the uncommon life. I'm so blessed that I found what is in Grooming the Next Generation for Success. This is a book that is being taught in universities around the world. It's been noted as the best book on parenting that has ever been written. Crazy, if you ask me. But the point is that this thing gets results. Get your copy today, 888-757-8880. Again, that's 888-757-8880. Or go to dannyjohnson.com. That's D-A-N-I johnson.com. Get your copy today. And now back to the Danny Johnson show. From suicidal, depressed, and a college dropout, letting the family down, to a successful businessman and an entrepreneur today. <laughs> what an awesome story, right? Yes, people are actually starting businesses in today's world that have no business experience. Rucci tapped into a very powerful training system where he learned and he applied diligently what he was learning. Rucci joins me now to share some of those things that helped him to become successful. So what training program did you plug yourself into and study and learn and, and apply? And what was the result of that? DannyJohnson.com for Steps to Success, and it's taken me farther than I could have ever imagined. Now, you spent uh, quite a bit of time in school, in college, all right, medical school dropout. You spent $80,000 on that mm -hmm. education. Uh, you since then have paid all that debt off, which is incredible uh, to be able to do that. And, and now you're making a, a, a six-figure income. You know, something that you probably would not have expected to do. And you're doing that on a part-time basis, right? You, if you were a doctor, you, there'd be no part-time nothing. <laughs> that would be a rat race and a half. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How awesome does it feel today to have known that you found a quicker, easier way to make the kind of income that doctors make without having to have spent two, three dollars $300,000 on your education? It, it feels great. I mean, you don't you don't think that it's it's possible um, when your whole goal is to go into medicine, yeah. right? It, it, we we don't have knowledge. We don't know what we don't know. And I never knew that there was a way. Yeah, which is wild, especially if you come from a highly educated family and and not entrepreneurs. You know what I mean? So you you've become an mm -hmm. entrepreneur. So right now, uh, in your life. You, you said that you tapped into first steps and creating a dynasty and all the materials that we have on our site. Uh, and you actually have a business where you help kids uh, take better SAT tests. How do people learn about that from you? Uh, I'm sorry, how do people learn about what? Like, you're, yeah, how you're, how, you're teaching kids how to test better 
in for school? Well, there's because these tests are standardized, there has to be an underlying logic to answer the majority of the question. <laughs> and this was something that I struggled with all throughout grade school because I was the kid that did great in the classroom. Mm-hmm. I had the highest GPA, but it never that intelligence never translated to standardized tests. And so um, I struggled with it all through high school and even going into college. Well, I got lucky, and I met a guy that aced every standardized test before the age of 24. I met him in college, GMAT, GRE, LSAT, MCAT, DAT. Oh, these are all tests to get into higher-level graduate um, educational programs. So when I saw that this 24-year-old could ace every single exam, I knew he wasn't that smart. (laughs) He told me he wasn't that smart. (laughs) He was like, Richie, if I can do this, there's got to be a way. There has to be a way. There has to be some kind of game that you can learn to strategically answer these questions correct. And it ultimately hit me when he could go through an entire section, never read the passage, and still get 90% of the questions right every single time. Here I am trying to read the passage, and I only get 50% of the questions right. Right? So... Through, through that training, through that training, I was able to learn a lot of those strategies and things that um, students don't realize and don't know to be able to get these questions correct and do well on these standardized tests like the SAT and the ACT. Wow. And so um, that's how people learn about it. And I have um, been very fortunate to have two of the best trainers in the industry. And, um, and between them, I've learned the proper ways to communicate that information to students so they can learn how to dominate these exams. Wow. So you're helping students dominate the exams, get into the colleges that they need to get into, and probably in some cases they're able to get some scholarships and not go into severe debt because of the way that they're testing. Is that correct? That is a great goal that I try to portray to the the families because it's an investment. It's not just a, hey, a score. If we can turn um, a certain financial investment into the class, into a scholarship, now they're getting a return on their money. Yep. yep. Not just a return on my education. Yep. So that's the way I, I try to present it to them. As well. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so now you're making a six-figure income. You're an entrepreneur. You're working part-time. You've paid off $80,000 worth of debt. You were once suicidally depressed and a college dropout. Now you have multiple streams of income, which is so exciting. What do you say to the person right now that is sitting there going, well, gosh, that's great for Ruchi, but you know, I don't know that if that could work for me. I don't know that I could actually pay off my $80,000 worth of debt. I don't know that, that I could ever learn how to make six-figure income. What do you say to that person that just had that thought process go through their head? What I would say to that person is that you're speaking strictly from what you know, and I've been there. Many other people have been there, but just like you need to learn any skill set to be successful in, uh, in anything, you have to learn a skill set to be able to learn how to make six figures. You have to learn the skill set to um, run a business and operate a business. And um, if you don't learn the skill sets and you don't take the time to do it, then yeah, you're not going to make any money. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to be successful. You're not going to do anything. You have to put in the time. You have to get the training and learn the skills that you need to be able to succeed in that notion. And that was something that I never had. So I used to say the same thing. I was like, well, there's no other way for me to make money. That's, you know, that's one of the reasons that I'm going to go to medical school. Well, once I learned the skill sets, things became a lot simpler. Yep. So I would encourage you to um, research more on how to actually make that money and learn from someone that, um, that has those skill sets instead of just making the assumption about something that you've never tried. And that's what people do. They throw excuses in front of themselves instead of finding the solutions. And Ruchi found the solution at dannyjohnson.com. First Steps to Success is the name of the training seminar that he's talking about. Creating a Dynasty, which is our advanced level training seminar. And by the way, anything that you get from dannyjohnson.com, our books, our audios, our whole library, our training seminars, 100% of the profits from those purchases go straight to taking care of the poor. So yes, the poor is being cared for at the same time while you are learning. Come on, where else are you going to have that kind of a setup to where the individual that is training you is training you with no pay to themselves, but instead all of the profits are going straight to the poor. And so listen, if Ruchi could go and become successful, so can you.
You have to stop with your excuses. Excuses are nothing but well-planned lies. And excuses will keep you broke. Excuses will continuously stop you from being all that you were called to be, all that you were born to be. There's a destiny that's calling out to you, friend. There is, there's a destiny calling out to you. And the fact is, is if you do not answer that call and back that call up with getting yourself committed and trained, then you will not reach that destiny. And so I know for myself, as well as the hundreds of thousands that we've trained up at the training seminar, First Steps to Success, we've seen it. People come out of nowhere in the least likely situation to succeed and nail it out of the park. And so what if, what if you're supposed to be the next one? What if, my friend, you're supposed to be the next person that we're interviewing on the show? Because you started from one spot and you grew to another. If this can happen in just a couple of short years for both Aaron and Ruchi, then it certainly can happen for you. So listen, take action, follow directions, learn the recipe that helped myself and countless thousands, hundreds of thousands of others. The, the recipe of paying off all of your debt in five to seven years, increasing your income, and improving your relationships at First Steps to Success. This is Danny Johnson. We're going to continue with our last segment. Thanks so much, Ruchi, for being with us. We'll continue with more right after this. For families in Santa Pancha, Nicaragua, life is filled with fear and struggle. They don't have enough food for their kids, clean water is hard to find, and they're living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel on top of mining tunnels that could explode and sink at any moment. But a miracle is in the making, and you can be a part of transforming this village. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha to see how you can help. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org, and click on Santa Pancha. No more fear, no more shame, no more excuses. This is The Danny Johnson Show. I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. <laughs> I really do, come on, look at this. Listen, every single week we're bringing you uh, a minimum of one, sometimes two, people who were living a life similar to the life that you're living right now. And why do we do a show once a week like this? Because you have to see what the possibilities are. I know that you identified both with Aaron, and I know you identified both with Ruchi. I know that part of what your life that you're living right now, you can find in the testimony in which they shared. Now you're just missing the end of it. Now you're missing the I'm debt free now part of it. Now you're missing the I increased my income part of it. Ah, my relationship with my spouse and my kids has been healed. Now I'm following my dream. You can follow your dream. You can. Your dream is not there to torment you. It's there to guide you. Did you hear me? It's there to guide you. And so that guidance can start today by simply taking the same exact steps that they took. And listen, speaking of a dream, all right, here's something that Ruchi, as well as Aaron's family, that we've all been working on. You know, I've told you about a team of people, everyday average people, who have the everyday average struggles like you and I have. We've all come together to get our focuses off of our own struggles and put our focus on the struggles of other people, helping to empower them, lift them up, and do good in the world. Could you imagine if there was multiplied millions of people who rather than just filling their own greedy, selfish desires like Aaron was talking about in the very beginning of the show, that she just lived to spend instead of living with a purpose. Well, could you imagine if millions of us came together and we worked on projects that was actually helping the extreme poor? Come on, imagine how our lives would be so filled with purpose. Well, there are thousands of us that are doing that. I'm looking forward to you joining us on that adventure. Right now, we're working on a project of building 1,000 homes for the extreme poor. 1,000 homes that will have bathrooms and, and will also have electricity and bedrooms and a kitchen inside the dwelling. And then we're also bringing in for every 100 homes that we build, we're bringing in educational uh, buildings, community centers, and schools to teach the kids as well as the adults how to start their own businesses. And we're even getting them started in their own businesses as well with, with a chicken coop with chickens and they're gonna have eggs to feed their family and they can sell the eggs or they can sell other chickens. I mean, could you imagine? a complete transformation of a very, very extreme poor area. And that's what we're doing. And so I would love for you to join us on that because Pablo 
and his wife Sandra are living in a dwelling. You can't even call it a home. They're living in a dwelling that could sink into the ground any day because the dwelling is sitting on top of an abandoned mine. We are working hard to get them out of that horrible, desperate situation, and we're putting them into a brand new home. You can help us. You can help Ruchi and Aaron and myself and all of us have a team of, of people, everyday average people that are saying, not on our watch. We're not going to let people suffer. We're going to do the right thing. So if you want to find out more information about that, go to kingsransom.org. Again, that's kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. It's the very first thing that you see. There's a big, huge picture of a, of a little girl on, on the front page of kingsransom.org. Click on that. It's for Santa Pancha and give what you can. Whether it's $5, just don't go to Starbucks today. Give that five bucks you would have spent at Starbucks to Santa Pancha and together we're going to build homes. This is Danny Johnson. Thanks for joining me today. God bless you. See you tomorrow. This has been the Danny Johnson Show. If you want to hear more, visit us at dannyjohnson.com. Hi, welcome to the Danny Johnson YouTube channel. We're super excited to have you here. And every single week, we're gonna make sure that you get awesome videos for your business, career, making more money, saving money, annihilating your debt, as well as helping you to handle those really tough problems that you have with people at home, as well as at work, and taking those really good relationships you already have and causing them to flourish and grow. All you have to do is click that subscribe button right down here. Click that and you'll be subscribed to an amazing community of people as well as some great videos that will help to improve your life. Thanks so much for being here. Subscribe now would be good. Just click it. I know you can see it. It's somewhere down here. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.